Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf. CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Admire the beautiful packaging for Odin Sphere. Life th- Life th- for Odin Sphere on the PlayStation 4, which looks spectacular. As you can see, this also came with a really nice art book that I'll be looking at here in this video. And I would be playing Odin Sphere right now were it not for the fact that Kelvin from Cuba, Missouri, who sent this to the show, also made the mistake of sending Doom. Doom! I have to choose favorites. Doom has a chainsaw. It's really good. Make sure that you follow me on Twitch at Classic Game Room to watch me play Doom and uh, scream Doom and EDF over and over again. And I'll be playing this one as well, Odin Sphere, which really looks nice. Even the dog agrees. You can't go wrong with a great looking art book to complement the incredible art design from your game. I'm actually testing a camera here to make way for the review of the Bayonetta art book. Where do you see that thing? Basically, I've just been bombed with like the coolest collection of video game related stuff ever. The Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon vinyl just showed up. I just reviewed the Battletoad soundtrack vinyl. I've got a transforming Sega Genesis that turns into Megatron. So many cool reviews coming up, including this game when I get a chance to play it. But beforehand, I've already read the art book cover to cover. 64 pages. We've got some sketches in here, character bios, color artwork. The pages have a nice matte finish on them. And while it's a soft cover, it feels good and substantial. This one was published by Atlas. And I like the work that they put into the full color page layouts. Velvet. Magician by day, stripper by night. This one, illustration by Yukiko Hirai. Velvet was originally inspired by a belly dancer and had a chain shaped like a snake. We tweaked her from here to make her look more like a witch. I'm sorry, witch by day, stripper by night. Or wait, maybe it was the other way around. I like the art design for Odin. Odin has very small feet, but extremely large hands. And you know what that means. Small shoes and large gloves. Here's a page filled with food. You really can't go wrong with that. Pancakes. I like an art book that manages to include the pancakes. I'll review the game when I get a chance to play it, but if you've been eyeing up the art book, now you know. It looks great. So once again, thank you, Kelvin. Thank you to everyone for watching. Short little packaging review here, but make sure to follow me on Twitch for some Doom, Odin, Sphere, and EDF. If you're going to buy the game anyway, buy it through ClassicGameRoom.com. Classic Game Room is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you. Now prepare for the Lord Carnage Club where I celebrate these backers on Patreon by shouting their name in a volcano! Derek Langley. Beer is the trick. Steven Chucknick. From... New Jersey! Michael Fernandez! People not named Michael Fernandez aren't Michael Fernandez. Al Stiver! Woo! Jason, 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 Jason from British Columbia! Philip Strabenmuller from Vienna, Austria! Austria. Cue the thunder! Jeff! Captain Dauntless! Briar! Cue the lava. I don't know what lava sounds like. It sounds like this. Jack Stavris from Australia. Oh hi, Cunny. Master of Thunder. Chip Sankvale, fighter of space bees. Woo. Rick DeBarros gets the extra disco. Michael and Ariana Nelson. Nelson. Fighters of the future. That's enough disco, because now it's time to shout Busy Signal! That's right, and keep the volume loud and the party rocking for... Sean Zoltek. Really? No. Sean Zoltek! Sergio Matthias Hergert! Tubular. Will. Will. 
Will? Will. Will. Will.